What's up, fam? Extraordinary life with Elijah. And today, Bishop is my extra, and I am the ordinary. Monday, July 12th, 2021, will be a day that goes down in infamy in my life and in the life of my family. There's so many massive things that happened on that day, amongst which the largest closing in my real estate practice that I've ever had and thereby the greatest expression of God's provision to me in my life at one time came on Monday, July 12th. But along with that, and I think even richer still was the blessing that my friend Bishop gave to me. Out of all the things that I've been talking about that were freed up in me to start sharing with the world on March 17th of 2021 in this idea of reproductive respiration that is central to everything that God has shown me in regards to the realities of his person and the kingdom and its expression through all veins of life. It's tied around this graphic that helps to illustrate the principles and to be able to work with them and understand them. It's like a physical, prophetic touch point, if you will. And so as a result of that, I've taken great pains over the years to, to draw it precisely, but a lot of the principles that are extracted out of it are, are verified, are shown in the graphic by very specific coordinates and, and angles. Over the years as I've written, I've tried to be proactive in saying, I think these things are true, but if they're not, I'm going to let them fall to hold on to what is true. In the joy of moving forward, that I knew that my friend Bishop was an architect and had access to ECAD, a computer graphics generating program. It's very precise very powerful and I reached out to him and shared my graphic with him to see if he would be able to draw the graphic for me. Both of us have been extremely busy this summer and haven't been able to set aside time to get together but on Monday, July 12th, 2021, he reached out to me and said, hey, I'm at Cafe M on the other side of Maine heading out towards Billings. I'll be here for a little while. If you have time, you could come by, I'll buy you a cup of coffee and I have about 30 minutes to draw your graphic. I told him I didn't know if that would be enough time because when I draw the graphic, it takes over an hour to draw it accurately and correctly. He said, no, we're gonna have lots of time. I said, that's great. I have a walk through with a client out on Trail Creek, which is on the way from Cafe M at 11. I'll see you at 10.30. So I went over, sat down with Bishop, and true to his word, he whipped out my entire graphic in, I think, under five minutes. It actually took longer for his computer to boot up than it took him to draw the graphic. So amazing, and it was precise. Computer precision precise. Copied it out numerous times in iterations down to like the size of a period dude with his program. He said, well, there you go, there's your graphic. He's like, now what? What do you want to do with this? I looked at my watch and said, well, I have five minutes to get to my showing, but if you could, if you could check to see if the top of this triangle in this circle is the same as the point in the middle of the circle three iterations down the road. That would be super helpful for me. Bishop explained that when you hover over a point, oh, my face is cramping. When you hover over a point with his mouse, if the points are precise, they're exactly the same points, a little red square shows up but that if they're close, it's a close approximation, a little X will pop up. It's like, well, it's close, but don't trust these points to being the same. When he pulled up his little mouse section of his program and hovered over the zenith of that triangle, immediately a red box popped up over the center of the circle, three iterations forward. Oh. Friends, I've told the story enough times now I can be calm in this moment, but in seeing the red square, I jumped up out of my chair. I almost kicked the door to Cafe M, which most likely would have been broken with how hard I was 
longing to kick the door. I picked up a chair. I was going to throw a chair. I was so passionate. Passion so overwhelmed me. Just the the fulfillment of longings of 12 years to be able to verify whether these points in this graphic correlate all came to fruition in a moment with Bishop's gentle service of me. My takeaway from it was not just in all of the things that have been verified and the things that I've studied over the last 12 years, but my takeaway was in the simplicity of the act of love that Bishop demonstrated towards me. He's a, a full-time designer, not an architect. Found out to be able to be, call yourself an architect, there's very rigorous testing to go through. So he has an architectural degree, he designs houses, but he's not an architect and he doesn't call himself one, just in case there's any regulators watching my video. But he works with his program day in and day out, snapping lines, drawing circles, drawing triangles and whatever other shapes that he makes to draw the designs and plans of houses. And so for him to engage my graphic, which is very rudimentary, it was less than five minutes for him to draw my graphic and repeated iterations off of the ratios of how it correlates. It was super simple for him. It was very, shall we say, ordinary. And yet his impartation of the capacity the, that he has in his life became this massive impartation to me that has revolutionized my life, that I was crying, staring at the graphic, and he was running his mouse up and down the line, and all these little red boxes were flashing all over the place like Christmas lights on a Christmas tree. And the more he did it, the more it made me cry. And then the drive to see my client, I just cried and wept and worshiped and praising and thanking God for his goodness, that his mercy and share himself with me and to verify that the things that he showed me are true. I was so moved that I had to pull over on the side of the road in this incredible encounter with the person of God. And all of it came through the very simple, ordinary expression of my friend to me in what he does very naturally and ordinarily. My encouragement to you then is in your life not to consider acts of service towards people who are around you as, as being small or insignificant and that what you have to give is not capable of impacting the lives of others. I assure you that the gift that my friend Bishop gave to me fulfilled the longings of 12 years of study and pondering and consideration and hopes before God confirmed in a moment of a very simple gift. Bishop's impartation to me was very simple, but my reception of it became extraordinary, life-changing, life-altering. And so where I assure you that it impacted my life, I adjure you to be like Bishop, to intentionally reach out to people and the things that are very natural and normal to you and to set aside even a small amount of time that seems too small to other people, but to invite them into that space and say, I'm going to do for you what's very easy, natural and normal to bless your life. I'm gonna free up that time. It's so easy for me to consider I don't have enough time. I, I don't have enough gifts. The thing that I have to give is too small. It's not gonna make that much of a difference. And don't leave space for the interaction that happened between me and Bishop. As you move forward throughout your day, as you move forward throughout your life, develop a sense of awareness that when you are fully yourself, just the things that are as easy as breathing in and out for you, that you have the capacity to shape and change the lives of the people around you. And that what may be very small for you could be the fulfillment of another person's 12 year 
heart longing. If you subscribe to what I'm doing, hit the button, hit it and then get it. Hit the bell as well so you get notified with the new content. And if you love this video, you didn't just like it, hit the thumbs down button. I pray blessings on your day. I love you guys lots and I'll see you in the next video.